Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope that you're doing well today. I'm doing really good. Today, we are Tuesday, November 17th of 2020. And uh, I've been waiting for this day for... I've literally been counting the days for five weeks now to get to this day because today is really exciting because... Uh, I'm gonna say it straight. I'm going to get a new puppy. <laughs> this is so cool. Like it's been months that I've been looking to get like another puppy. You guys probably know I already have a dog. Alaska I put a picture right here. And she's almost four years old now. So it's been almost four years that I had my puppy. And I felt like it was a good timing to get another puppy. And I'm basically going to pick up my puppy like in an hour and 40 so we it is 9 20 right now it just turned 9 20 and we have an appointment at 11 with the breeder uh we're gonna meet there and i'm gonna get the puppy <laughs> so i'm gonna show you guys everything that i bought for the puppy and how i placed everything and how i got it entrance and the only thing in the entrance is the food dish and the water dish and we put a little like plastic carpet so if puppy makes a mess well it's not going all over the floor and the other thing is a little bell that I I don't know if it's gonna hold but I put tape there so we're basically gonna train the puppy to ring the bell when it needs to go potty and I use that with my other dog Alaska and it works super great and the other room is the living room and it's gonna be the two rooms that the puppy's gonna be able to go in or allowed to go in so this corner there's a little crate and I actually put a cardboard box to like separate the crate because it was too big for now so I put a little teddy bear there <laughs> well it's not it's more like a puppy and on top of the crate there's some food here with a measuring cup and here there's a lot of stuff here is for cleaning if the puppy makes a mess in the house and there's shampoo there's pee pads there's notebooks there's toys grooming stuff that's pretty much it in there and this is all that I'm gonna bring I have a little treat pouch I'm gonna put some treats in there and got a little bandana it's so cute and I got a leash a collar a little harness I'm not sure if it's gonna fit the puppy it might be a bit too big gonna see and I got a little um, blankie that if possible I would like scrub it on the siblings so it kind of smells like her siblings so she's kind of you know feels more at home so that's pretty much it for the things that I bought for her the next thing I'm gonna do is I have my little cheat pouch I'm gonna attach my pants and I'm gonna fill them with treats and I actually made these treats uh, those are banana peanut butter recipe and I also made a recipe of carrot and tuna and I'm gonna make a video well I would like to make a video about like how I do these treats but I made literally five bags of banana peanut butter and five bags of tuna carrots so I have a, <laughs> I have some for a few months okay probably. we're in the car right now I'm just waiting for my mom I'm just preparing stuff so the treat pouch here and I'm going to put also the harness and the bandana here. I'm just going to bring the leash, the collar, and the little blankie, and the money. So, all set. Ah, are you excited, girls? Yeah. Yeah. So she's, she's just going to be on me. I'm going to put the blanket on, like, on my legs, and she's just going to sit on my lap. It's just 15 minutes drive, so it's really not that bad. So... Yeah! <laughs> really too big for her. <laughs> Let's look at her eyes, they're blue. One of her, her left eye is gonna be a little bit of brown. But oh, she's so cute. 
<laughs> she's so tiny. Like I, f I feel like every time I have a puppy, like it's smaller than I thought it would be. Like it's so tiny, so cute. <gasps> He's like, what's happening? potty before getting in the house so hey baby oh. What? <laughs> oh you happy baby he's like what am I supposed to do been almost two hours then she is home and she's pretty good with noises and stuff she had her first pee outside she's really tired right now so I discovered that she really loves to sleep on that type of carpet like plastic carpet she would rather sleep on that that in her cozy little crate there but she's pretty good she was sleeping there my mom had the vacuum on she just lift up her head for a second and then to fall asleep so it's pretty good so I'm watching some training videos and she's still sleeping up there and what's really nice when you keep a leash on the puppy is that you can always see like I don't see Daisy but I can see the leash so if she gets up like you know I can see the leash is gonna move so that's good I can always keep an eye on that little leash there So now I'm gonna attempt to weight Daisy because I have, have no idea what her weight is. So I, I took a little cardboard box right, and got the kitchen scale, put it to zero, and I'll try to put it right here. Okay, baby. So Miss Daisy is about eight pounds, and I saw in her health card that she was seven pounds at seven weeks, and she's eight pounds at eight weeks. So she gained just a pound in one week. You growing, girl? Oh yes. It's the next morning. I didn't vlog a lot yesterday night because it was kind of complicated at the beginning. But here she is. She's excited now she can play, so I'm gonna explain it a little bit to what we did for the night. Oh no, she's all excited. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try to show you guys. Okay, so we went to bed at around 8.45 and rang the- Oh, she's so smart. Oh my gosh, look at that. She rings the bell to, for me to open the door. And every time I can have to open the door because otherwise she's not gonna learn. She doesn't care. <laughs> okay. 
bed. So what I wanted to say is we got to bed around 8.25 and just before she went to pee and poo outside. So that was just super good. I think it was her second poo. Yeah, used to be great. She loves going in and out. But the thing we need more practice on is when we close the door. When we shut the door. She's a bit more like she's crying and stuff. So we gotta get her used to that. Also, I'm wearing like a hat and a hoodie because it's cold outside and I had to get up multiple times during the night and I didn't really want to put my coat on everything. So I just already have this. <laughs> um, so yeah. So she started crying when I shut the door. And she cried for like an hour and a half and I didn't come and just, you know, come there and she said, oh, every time I cry, like they're gonna come over to see me. So I just waited until she stopped crying and then I decided to come closer to her so she can see everything. And it was good for most part of the night. Like sometimes she was crying, I was like backing off. Because I was sleeping on the couch right here. So I was, my head was that end at the beginning. And then I put my head here so she can like kind of see me more. And anytime she would start crying, I was kind of backing off. And then when she would stop, I would come back. And she learned like quickly that crying wasn't a good thing to do. And yeah, so went potty three times. And I think now I'm gonna give her breakfast. Play with her a little bit, give her breakfast. And then <laughs> are you eating something? And then um probably gonna let Alaska and her meet. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> She's always wanting to go outside. And even though she just lays down and is sh shivering because she's cold, she just loves to be outside. I get her back in. Oh, now she's gonna make it. Oh. Now she's gonna take a nap. Very smart. But yeah, so what I do is when she wants to go outside, and I know it's not because she wants to potty, I just let her go out, and I let the little end of the um, leash, like, under the door, so, like, it's like she's attached, and she can s just sleep and play on the porch with little branches and stuff like that. So funny, she likes sticks and stuff, but we bought a bunch of toys for her, she doesn't even care. She just likes. She prefers like the natural toys, like branches like that one. and straw. She loves this one. She loves the texture. It makes a lot of noise. <laughs> there you go. And she's really good with like puppy biting and like teething. Really, she's not that much into like biting. So I don't know if it's gonna change with time, but so far she's really good. So yeah.